scientists met at an ocean summit in San Francisco this morning, and they shed some light on the effects of global warming and why so many gray whales have been dying in the bay recently. KPI X5's John Ramos has a story. The summit didn't address whales directly, but if there was one point made here, it's that everything is connected and everything is affected by the waters getting warmer. The message here was that the bills of climate change are already coming due. Dr. Cynthia Catton told a shocked audience that 90% of the kelp north of San Francisco Bay has already disappeared. You know, 10 years ago, it seemed like climate change was maybe a bit abstract, and we were thinking about how to, how do we, how would we respond to this? Now we have very tangible examples, unfortunately. One of those examples is what's happening to the gray whales. Seven have died inside San Francisco Bay since March, most from malnutrition. Mary Jane Schramm with the Greater Farallons National Marine Sanctuary says it's not a good sign that they're coming into the bay at all. For a lot of them, it's, a, it's an act of desperation. They're desperate for food. Gray whales normally only eat during the three months they spend in the Arctic. They feed on tiny creatures in the mud, which are dependent on algae growing on the bottom of the floating ice cap. Now, since the polar ice cap has shrunk so much, that has eliminated a lot of the gray whale's food supply in the Arctic. They don't have enough energy reserves to make it alive back to their feeding grounds. So they are literally starving before they can get home? That is correct. Something similar happened in 1999 and 2000, when nearly a third of the world's gray whales died. Those numbers have rebounded and the population is up again, but Schramm says as the ice melts and the food supply dwindles, we may be seeing the beginning of another massive die-off. Now we know to expect them periodically, but it doesn't make it any less heartbreaking to see it, but it may just become a reality that we live with. The news is bleak, but scientists here say it's important not to give up hope, because when you give up hope, you give up trying. And they say there's a lot of work to be done to keep things from getting worse. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.